I'm Ajax Walker, and I'm one of the co-founders of Professors Without Borders. And um, those of you who do not know what we do, we are an organization that um, we're a charity in the UK, and our mission is to bridge the gap in education globally and to ensure equality in education and also parity in education among um, students. One of the issues we have been raising over the few past few years is education equality in academia amongst um, lecturers, right? And those who teach. And we've been doing this by um, having uh, conferences through a think tank called Think Tank Without Borders. And um, I think tank have been raising a lot of issues about how academics work within the global context. But um, the recent, th the theme for this conference is mainly focused on how um, black academics fail on in academia in Western context. For example, in the UK and the USA, 1% of black professors, professors are black. And there's a difficulty in how black professors go through the hierarchy. And there's, there tends to be um, not many black professors in the higher echelons of education, both in the UK and the USA. Um, there are not many black vice chancellors or black heads of departments. And these are things which we believe that as an organization, we must tackle and understand the reasons for this and why there's this underrepresentation and perceived discrimination and the role race plays in this context. We also have the, the wider issue of gender, how are women represented in higher education in these positions? There are a few women in education. How many VCs do we have and how many women academics do we have in higher education um, that represent women? And how, how do we show that in the wider context? So today we have a couple of um, distinguished lecturers, or distinguished academics who will be discussing this issue with us and it will be the opportunity for us to ask questions and to see how we can untangle this, this great mystery which we, um, which we have. I must also say that what we're doing here is quite important, it's very important. We've reached a point in, in our lives that we have to make certain changes and have to speak up for the marginalized. So we, can't, we can no longer sit back and accept things the way they are. We need to understand why things happen why um, they continue to happen and how we can change things. And we hope that from this conference, we can um, develop a paper where we can discourse and spread out what we think or what we have discussed within this context and see how that can be used to push in a more bigger and better discussion around this area. Mm -hmm.